how are you guys doing today my name is Harris and welcome back to my channel today I am going to do uh, Louis CK again I haven't done it for a couple of weeks so I thought let's jump into Louis CK and there's this clip I am not 100% sure if I've seen it or not it's called wedding so I don't know what it is so I am gonna start here as if I've not seen it if I have seen it I'll let you guys know but uh, it's about nine minutes long and all it says is Louis CK on wedding and I don't know what that is I really don't know there's quite a few as I mentioned in my very first Louis CK video uh, like there's a lot I haven't seen of him so without any delays let's get to Louis CK wedding there we go talk about their mothers I was watching a football game one time and this guy scored a bunch of shit whatever and they were excited so they asked him about it afterwards and the football player said, my mom died last year, but I know she was watching my game from heaven tonight. And I wanted to be there to say, leave your mother alone. How dare you? It sounds familiar. She's dead. I mean, when are you done with your fucking kids? <laughs> when are you finished with your fucking kids? It sort of sounds familiar. You're dead, you still have to go to their fucking games and shit? <laughs> There's no ending. One's appearance, always appearance. Even after death. Leave your mother alone. <laughs> I thought she it was did her job. Wedding. She raised you and it killed her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let her enjoy heaven. Don't you want your mother to enjoy heaven? Isn't that what you want your mom to be just in heaven? Whee! Yeah. Poor woman. The angels are like, we're having an angel party. You want to come with us? I can't, I gotta watch my son's game. <laughs> I'm <so> very upset. <laughs> Daddy, oh. good job. You can't fucking hear me. When people die, <laughs> it means they did their jobs. And you should forget them. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair what we put on dead people. Are you watching over me? Yes, I'm watching <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you know, like an old, when you see, see an old couple and they've been married for like 60 years, you know that kind of story? Everybody always loves that. The kind of people that always get applause based on the math of their lives. Yeah, this. How long you've been married? 60 years. Oh. I don't think I've seen this. Oh. I know it sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen this. Isn't that automatically wonderful? <laughs> how do you know? You just know how long it's been. For 60 years, every morning, he tells me I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say this is a happy couple, okay? They love each other. They've been married for 60 years. That's longer than most people really want to be alive, and they've been together <laughs> that long. <laughs> and now they're just an old couple, and they just walk together. You know when you see two people... And it's kind of lovely. They don't need anybody else. It's just the two of them. This is both of them. They just walk. <laughs> they always walk somewhere nobody walks there. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's trucks. <laughs> He's wearing a suit that is not a color. <laughs> She's wearing a dress that's like a triangle, like a kid drew it. It's just fucking a dress <laughs> with fruit on it. Nobody cares. And they just walk every day. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. You want to go to the store and get a cracker? <laughs> yeah, let's get a cracker at the store. You want to buy a cracker? Yeah, you can buy it. Blah, 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 blah. Just your brush. <laughs> and then one day... Usually he dies first. <laughs> They're walking, and he goes, ah, ah, and she says, Richard, <laughs> ah, ah, Richard. <laughs> That's quick. <great>. Ah. <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> so now it's just her, just Rose. Is that me or this is getting really fucking dark? <laughs> now she just stands in their house. Once in a while somebody goes to get Rose because there's a wedding. 
Come on, Rose, do the enter. Just fucking come on. <laughs> come on. Fuck her. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> just want to push her from. <laughs> she lies. She lies. Ten more years. Ten years <laughs> after Richard dies, and uh, and then ten years later, now she's laying in a bed. She's dying. Somebody's there with her on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, me on their phone. So Rose is dying, and she says, Well, at least now I get to be with my Richard forever. Where, where'd she get that idea? <laughs> where did that come from? I've, I've looked it up. No religion teaches. That when you die, you get to ruin heaven for your dead spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that fair? Who gets... <laughs> Richard's been dead for ten years. He's been in heaven for ten years. And somebody comes up to him, Hey, your wife is coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, Rose just died. She'll be here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> so you just gotta hose her down and take the wings on. <laughs> and then you're gonna be together forever. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fuck. You said this was heaven. Why is this. I'm <laughs> different here now. I don't wanna fucking. She's the love of your life. She's not the love of my death, motherfucker. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's marriage. Marriage is a big deal. Marriage is a big deal. I went to a wedding the other day. I went to a gay wedding. I've been to a lot of gay weddings, which is not true. <laughs> not true at all, but <laughs> I did go to one. All right. But uh, I don't go to weddings generally because uh, I don't like them. I hate it. Don't invite yeah, me, really. I think it's rude to invite people to your wedding. I really do. Nobody's happy to get that shit. <laughs> you make it all pretty, and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is going to suck. <laughs> Here's a helpful list of places to stay. Oh, great. I get to live in a La Quinta <laughs> in Redding, Pennsylvania <laughs> for three days. Because you want to get married for a couple of years. A couple of years. Yeah. In my case, Nobody wants to watch too. you start your shitty thing. Nobody wants to see it. Everybody's in a shitty thing. That's what it is. That's what it is to be with somebody. You're either alone or you're in a shitty thing. That covers 100% of human beings. Good. I like that. I know there's, I can see there's young couples here and you're like, no, we're in a good one. Give really time. good. Yeah, fuck you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> it just didn't get so arrogant. Yeah, I think we figured it out. No, yeah, you're the first one. <laughs> of course it's going to get shitty. That's part of it. Exactly. It's like, it's like going to a horror movie, and in the first minute, you're like, I think they're all going to be fine. <laughs> no, they're all going to die, and you're going to hate the person you love right now. It's the way it works. Love plus time minus distance equals hate. That's just the way it goes. What a nice equation. <laughs> I'm not saying don't do it. You should do it. It's the best thing. It's the best part of life, love is. But don't be greedy and expect it to last. <laughs> don't be amazed that a butterfly died because you shot it in the face. <laughs> Just fall in love, make a fucking mess. It goes shitty, you don't realize it till too late, and then you cry a lot and move on. It's the best part of life. It is. I've always loved love. I've always loved this. It's been my favorite part of life is meeting somebody and going, oh shit, that person. That's the best feel. Now, why the fuck would that just, oh yeah, <laughs> for years, for our whole lives, it's, oh yeah. That's insane to expect that. <laughs> and then it rots and dies. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> it's like if you see a person in the park making bubbles with a big wand, you know, with soap. And sometimes they make a really big one and he goes, oh, hey, hey, 
Ah, <laughs> shit. Okay. That's all. You don't stand over. Liar! I haven't seen that you one either. Get mad at the soap stain. I'm gonna watch that. It gets so shitty, man. It does. <laughs> oh. It fucking oh, does. Oh, oh. So, that was Louis C.K. And he's talking about marriage, mother, or parents, and a wedding. Like, I, it's, I don't know why it sounded familiar. Maybe somebody else done a similar joke, or I might have seen this. I genuinely don't know. But it does look like something I've not seen, but it just sounds familiar. You know, it's like a deja vu sort of thing. That's what happened. And, uh, obviously, Louis C.K., hardly ever disappoint you because he's absolute brilliant storyteller and i love the whole bit about once your parents dead leave them the fuck out man you know what i mean they did their job they made you what you are you know what i mean so stop uh, constantly was like oh mom look after me so you know what i mean it's just it's a funny concept i like it it's funny and it's it's actually very good i enjoyed that it was a bit long uh for my taste but it's okay that was good i enjoyed that and i really hope you enjoyed that as well if you did like and please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video